It's my body. It's my stuff. It's my space. It's not yours. Before you do anything to change any of that, ask me first. That's agency. Having enough respect for a person to realize that maybe they're making decisions about their lives that you might not know the reasons for. So you need to let them do their thing. As you can see, I've done a lot. This is the area where Spawn is and the little island that I spawned on it was mostly sand with a little bit of dirt. And I've extended this out just by placing uh, dirt blocks over the water and put in some farms. I found pumpkins on the other side of the mushroom biome. Well, not on the other side. I walked all the way around the mushroom biome because I wanted to see how big it is and it's huge. And I found pumpkins, so I'm on my way. Oh, this is all just built out with sandstone and sand and whatnot. I'm going to make sugar cane the whole way across to that island. Because that island has pigs on it. And I'm going to be walking them over. You see, I've changed my cross here. I've changed a couple of other things, too. Uh, this cross here works really well. Now, even from a distance, when there's a mob, I can see between the arms of the cross here to see where to aim to shoot. I've leveled all this off. This is mostly hills and so on, but I've leveled it all off uh, to make pasture land for, obviously I've been breeding a lot of cows and shrooms and so on. Chickens keep falling down in my murder hole, which is cool, I suppose. Game froze. Hold on. There it goes. Uh, it's a good place to collect chickens if I need arrows. So here's my murder hole. There's a little cave down there that doesn't amount to much. And I let them climb up here, and then I hit them in the knees. That dummy doesn't know I'm here. It's a real convenient way to get a little bit of XP and mob drops. And also, it allows the animals, the monsters, to spawn down here, which is just far enough away from my bed so that I don't get, you can't sleep because there's monsters nearby but it lets this whole area be pretty much free of monsters without me having to worry too much about lighting it a whole lot up, although I do light it up. Been planting trees. Uh, these are This was my original tree farm, but that chicken's been there ever since I threw that egg. It's been, oh, I guess about two weeks in Minecraft days now. That's about how long it's taken me to do all this. Fence most of this off because the uh, mob AI the animals are all trying to go north and, which way, west, northwest. So they were all going in the ocean, and that was a pain. Oh, when I leveled this off, look what I found. In one of the um, little holes I was digging down to go caving, I found this ravine. So I've opened it up a little. It's going to go into the ocean, so I'm going to need aqua affinity and respiration on a helmet to be able to do a little bit of work on it, because I'll glass it from the top and then dig down. Like, which is what I've pretty much been doing here. Most of this was, uh, s most, a lot of this was solid stone. And then I built little staircases and platforms so that I can dig it out. And that's about as far as I've gotten. I've made a few little pilot holes, I guess you'd call them, so that I can see which way the uh, ravine is going in this direction. And this is as far as I've gotten. So yeah, all this was hills and some trees and whatnot. And... Uh, I had a little tree farm out here, but I moved it because mobs were spawning under it, and it was kind of a pain in the bazongas. Plenty of cows, plenty of shrooms. I've been living primarily off of... Ooh, I need to eat. My gosh. Uh, I've been living primarily off of mushroom soup. But as you see, I'm also eating cow flesh as I get it. I don't kill animals very often except for what I need for drops. Out here is the mushroom island. You see, I'm uh, mushroom island. The biome. You see, I've been working pretty hard out here. Now, back to agency. Uh, there's a young guy who has, oh, we met on XPD, and he's been playing on my server. That's that original mess I started goofing around in. I'll be back. Um, and he's done two things. I'm, I'm not singling you out. You're a nice kid, and I really like working with you, but it is an issue. And I need you to hear my side of this. I'm having a challenge to see which grows faster, the mycelium 
or the grass. The grass is at a disadvantage because it had to climb up all this first. So, uh, but I'm building a platform here because eventually I'll build a house. On this side of the platform, of course, mobs do spawn because this is not considered mushroom biome. So I have to be careful, and it's not very well lit, but I have put torches on this end. So I'm having a challenge to see who's going to grow most, the grass or the mycelium. And then I'll start building a house from there. So uh, two things have happened. One time I was working, I think, on my own server, and I, this guy had admin privileges. I was working on something very critical. It had to be done like right now. I have to be careful over here because that's all biome where people can attack me. This whole spot is surrounded by places where people can attack me, so I need to be real careful. Might be patient. There we go. Uh, so I have to be careful because things are always poking me in the rumpus. The first thing was I was doing something very critical and uh, the kid said, hey, come over here and look at this. And I said, I can't right now because I'm doing blah, 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 and explained exactly what I was doing, which I didn't have to do, of course, but I wanted the kid to know why it was critical and why I really needed to do what I was doing and not come and see whatever it was the kid wanted me to see. Uh, and I really needed to concentrate on what I was doing. I don't remember if I was near lava. I don't remember if I was killing an inner person. And I don't know what I was doing. But the kid decided, without telling me, the kid teleported me to where he was and the thing he wanted me to see. And I instantly teleported back because I couldn't be where he was. I needed to be where I was and doing what I was doing. And he didn't ask. He just teleported me. And that's kind of like kidnapping. I mean, I know the kid didn't mean it that way. The kid was working on something that he was really proud of and he wanted me to see it. And I understand all that. But the kid did not understand that I was doing something that was important to me and that I needed my body to be where it was doing the things it was doing right then to be able to get my job done and to play the game efficiently and well. So that's an example of agency to just without agreement, without even announcing that he was going to do so, to teleport me to a completely other region of the map and, you know, if it was uh, a mob that I was fighting or something like that, whoa, God, speaking of mobs, uh, of course, by the time I got back, the mob would have despawned. If it was an issue of flowing lava, uh, the lava could have burned up wherever I was near, you know, and destroyed whatever I was working on. Or, dro you know, any dropped items would have burned up or, you know. So it interfered with my gameplay. Why are you messing with me? Go away. I need to go to sleep. Give me that string. Um, the second thing that happened was, and this happened very recently, was I was in my own spot on the Nyrashar server. And uh, the kid asked me about something, and I said, as soon as I get my hat handed to me by this interpan. The kid teleported immediately in front of me, blocked my field of view so I couldn't see what I was doing, and was going to help me by killing the underpants. The problem with helping me and killing the underpants is, oh my gosh, I can't take on all those creepers. This is madness. I gotta get out of here. Where am I gonna go? I don't know. They really want me. Oh, I'm going right in the middle of them. Really? Okay, that one despawned. That's lucky. Um, so I said I need to kill this enderpants or get my hat handed to me by this enderpants. What I actually said, like, it's going to kill me. I'm not going to kill it. Well, the kid appeared right in front of me, blocked my field of view as I'm attacking the enderpants. Killed the enderpants. If there was an enderpearl, collected the enderpearl. I don't know whether there was or not. See how I can shoot by looking below the crosshairs? Isn't that excellent? And so collected the XP, collected any loot drops, just assumed it was okay to come and get right in front of me while I was attacking it. And this was melee. I could have hit him, you know, with my sword. And I wasn't about hitting him. I was about hitting the underpants. And um, collected all the resources and stuff. And I said twice while this was going on, 
So I said to the kid twice, this is my area, and the kid didn't acknowledge it. And, like, wait a minute. It's, I, I'm doing something here, and you're getting in the way. Uh, maybe the kid thought he was helping me. But I didn't ask for help. See, that's a major problem, too. I've been told that before. Uh, well, you needed help with redstone. Uh, no, I told you I'm doing redstone. I didn't ask for any help. Please let me work, and I'll, I'll ask for help when I need it. Um, that's agency. Let me make decisions for myself. In fact, it's not even your right to let me. Um, it's my right to do what I need to do, and please stay out of my way because I don't come over when you're trying to get stuff done and get in front of you and mess with whatever it is you're doing and act like I'm the big expert and that you need to be schooled. Um, this happens a lot. It happens to children a lot that they don't even have agency over their own bodies or what happens with their time or their property because adults have to make decisions for kids. They have to because kids don't have a lot of life experience and they don't know a lot of stuff about how things are done in the world. So adults have to make decisions for kids. There are also people who have diminished capacity, which means, okay, they don't think too well or um, they can't make decisions for themselves because they have some sort of medical condition that gets in the way. Potatoes, finally. Those people, yeah, they need help with decision making and people have to step up and take care of business for them if they can't do it for themselves. But I don't have diminished capacity and I'm not a child and I do have life experience so I need to make those decisions for myself. Please, always, when you go into a situation where, especially if you don't know people very well um, and you don't know anything about them, don't assume that they need you to take over their lives for them because they're not capable of doing it for themselves. You will probably be wrong. You will probably interfere in what they're trying to do and not actually help but make things harder. And you will probably end up hurting their feelings or um, uh, in, in the cases I explained, and I'm not using these examples to say, oh, feel sorry for me, this kid picked on me. Please understand that. Well, I'm using these as uh, experiences from my own life experience of ways in which people accidentally um, get in the way of other people getting things done. I'm getting out of here. There's a creeper. I don't want to try to do this while I'm talking to you. Uh, so just keep in mind that sometimes your best intentions might actually cause more trouble than you ever meant for it to do. So that's the position I have about agency. Uh, now, if you're a child and you don't know how to do things, l start learning to ask for help. Start learning because it's perfectly okay to ask for help and it's perfectly okay to need help. It doesn't mean you're weak or stupid or bad or anything. All it means is that you have enough humility and enough smarts to know that you don't know what to do and you do know to ask people who might be better experts on things to give you some assistance. But don't barge into people's lives and assume they're going to be grateful that you just kind of took over what they were doing. That's what's meant by agency. And a lot of people, people of color, people with disabilities, women, kids even, and others are starting to say, hey, look, I can make decisions for myself. I don't need you to make decisions for me. I need you to listen to what I'm telling you. Uh, the phrase about that is nothing about us without us, meaning don't make decisions without consulting with me first. That's agency. And kid, you're one of my favorite players. This is not an attack on you personally. You get it? But I need to have agency. Thank you very much for watching. Have a really good day. I'm going to come over here and look at a mushroom butt and log off. Bye.